Hi guys, welcome back. Right, today we are doing a tarantula versus tarantula web off. Um, I don't think anyone's done this before, but it's a bit of a experiment. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to match two tarantulas against each other in the ultimate web off. Um, we're going to leave it a month um, and then uh, just see, see what happens and see who wins. So let's get right to it. So guys, what's the plan? All right, if you follow the channel, you'll remember these Lego Green Bottle Blue sling enclosures, but as you can see, he's not a sling no more, or she. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a web off battle on Green Bottle Blue against Dockley Diamantis. Yeah, my pronunciation is absolutely rubbish but what we're going to do two identical enclosures as you can see from that in there she's almost the same size as any of those green bottle blues so we're going to do hip dip sky blue fucking you know and pick one of those to go up against this one now what we're going to do we're going to leave it a month and basically see who wins what we're going to do, we're just going to set out two tubs, exactly the same, and see which is the victor. I might try this with different species as well, say an OBT and a killer brachis or something. But we'll see how this goes and see if you like the video first. So guys, you can see that I've tried to make both more or less identical. Which, well, as identical as I can possibly make. It's only twigs, after all. But um, I've added a little bit of leaves in there. Sometimes they sort of add them into their web webbing and stuff and use them to build there. But what I've done is sort of made it so they're sort of going to build web tunnels around lots of anchor points. Same with both. Next thing now is to choose. Right. So we have four green blotter blues here. So I'm going to do eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Okay. This one actually, that one's... Looks like it's due malt, so we're going to pick one that's roughly the same stage of malt, because I think that would be fair, actually, when they're due malt. Right, so that one, and then we've got that one in here. Now, you can see he's ready to come out into his new home already. Now, these um, pots I found in, if you're in the UK, they're in Poundland, they've just come in. I got, they were £3.50 for six. All right, they've not got a clear bottom, but they've got a nice clear top. And they're perfect for the shame cupboard. So nice and deep as well. All right, let's get the first one out. All right. And you can see this one here is ready to come out already, look. They want a new home, so what we're going to do, we're going to try and limit our bolt ability by half covering the enclosure and then just try and ease her down in. Okay. Ah, that was cool. So, let's have a look, a little look at her there. She's a little stunner. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, one down. Let's pop the lid on before she does a legger. Right, next for uh, Green Bottle Blue. So yeah, I'm thinking this one in here. So I made a quite cool little webbing. It was a nice little idea. now so what we're gonna do usually green bottle is pretty chill 
That's when I say stave. Shouldn't have said that. Because now you're going to have an issue. Yeah. It's going round and round and round we go. There you go. There you go. Up. There we go. Go nice and slowly. It's a little bit skittish, this one. There she is. Now, we'll close the lid. What we're going to do, if I can find it, we're going to put one on that one and two on that one. Okay? So, guys, what I'd like you to do, who do you think is going to win this webbing challenge after a month? Will it be number one, the green bolt blue, or number two, the D diamantis? Both are pretty much exactly the same size. Both prolific web webbers. One's a dwarf um, species, so they sometimes called the mini green bottle blues. This is why I wanted to do this sort of challenge. Um, what we're going to do now, we're going to rehouse the rest as well. So. Just so, add a little bit more and you might like seeing that as well. So guys, what we're going to do then with this rehousing the three last ones, we're actually going to um, use this as a tester because um, spiders have so many different personalities, some web more than more, most. Um, you hear of people having green bottle blues for ages and they've never had a laid a web of any sort i've had green bottle blues that um not done anything for like six six months and then went sort of super crazy so these are the the other testers so what we're going to do with the green bottle blue we're putting in a challenge we're also going to study um the different personalities of the other green bottle blues and if they actually web more or less but they're all cute so you can remember if you watched this before, they, these are all little slings. So they've all done really well. As I say, this is my favorite species in the, in the hobby by far. I do love them. So it's one in, ah, oh, you're gonna leg it. No, no, no. Leg it. Right, I've got to catch. Right, got the little one. Oh, there's one bolter. I expect that. Right, you're going to get closed up for sure. Naughty one. Right, next one. idea what sex these are either. As you can see they need a knee home. Right, I'm not going to be silly this time. We're going to cover it. You can see it running around like a lunatic. In there. It's like now. Chills out a little second, and it's yeah, there. We go. That's the best thing to do, really. If you have a bolter, just let it run. It'll stop within a second, usually, and then that give you chance. If you try and keep just grabbing for them and grabbing the pots, just let them run for a bit. Especially, well, if you got the chance. Obviously, if you're doing it in the kitchen or something, and you don't want it to run under the fridge or anything. I've had that before, that's a nightmare. But if you're rehousing, or rehousing the bathroom, 
I've done a lot of rehousing in the bathroom back in the day. Especially, I still do it now, especially with the, the real fast ones. Just lock yourself in the bathroom. And then, uh, that one's gone in easy. Yes, lock yourself in the bathroom. And it's just you and the spider. So these are the test subjects. So we're going to test them against the one we picked. To... Ah, you... Right, that's another bolter, but this one's an easy one. We've got it back in there. Here we go. So I like this workshop. It's kind of easy to. We're going to put the top on that. We don't want no more leggers. Not today. So they're the three test subjects anyway. Right, guys. That's it. So, guys, you know I'm um, mad into my green bottle blues. So, um, I'm I'm thinking the actual green bottle blues will win this. What do you think? Um, please pop down in the comments. It'll be fun to uh, see who's won. Um you know, the most votes were one or two. Um, so remember we got, pot one was the D Diamantis and pot number two was Green Bolt Blue. So if you think pot number one is gonna win, please put um, pot one in the comments. If you think um, pot two is gonna win, put to, pot two in the comments. Um, it also be good to see the other ones that we've rehoused sort of how they get on and um, to show people that not every spider is exactly the same, even though it's from the same species. Um, a lot of people, you know, say my green bottle blue don't web at all. So this is going to be the test. It's all we're going to do it for four weeks, leave them for four weeks and then come back and then we'll do, we'll do an update and open them all. Well, and um, see, see what's happened, basically. So they're all going to be kept in the same shame cupboard. So they're all in exactly the same conditions. It's nice and warm in there. Um, it's like a, where the water boiler is in my um, in my um, kitchen. There. So it's got shelves underneath. So it keeps it nice, nice, nice and toasty warm for them. So in exactly the same conditions. Um, obviously, we've got four green bottle blues all in exactly the same conditions. So and the D dynamitensis. So, but yes, pop one, pop two. Apart from that, guys, um, and thanks for watching. As always, um, we've got some awesome builds coming on um, really, really, really soon. So please down tune for that. I've got down here, in there, well, there. Yeah, I'm not going to show you yet. <laughs> we've got the crypt coming. We've also got um, like a Jurassic Park one coming and the Stranger Things coming. I've got room now in this workshop. The whole bench is full of jobs to do. So we're going to try and work on at least three and try and get all three done by Christmas. Who knows? Might do it, might not. Um, apart from that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please do remember to pop that, pop, comment down below, pop one or pop two. Please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Do, 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 notifies you of upcoming um, videos. Doesn't cost you a penny, but it does mean a lot to me. Apart from that, guys, I shall see you later.